Hello gamers. I thought it would be really fun to show you a tour of my office now that I spent all day cleaning it. It's still a work in progress, but it's in a really good place. It's my happy place. I come here to do all sorts of things, work, play. So I'd love to show you what I have so far. Are you looking to upgrade your gaming setup this holiday season? Something that we can all use more of is storage space. I know I could always use more storage space for things like video editing and gaming. I'm sure many of us can relate to having to uninstall a game in favor of installing a new one or having to call your sim CC. Having an SSD specifically for gaming is a total game changer. And I always recommend going with a reputable and trusted brand like today's sponsor, WD Black. I was sent two great products for gamers needing more storage. The first one being the WD Black P40 Portable Drive. This is good for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. This drive comes in 500 gigs, one terabyte, and two terabyte sizes, and has customizable RGB lighting for those looking to up the aesthetics. This would be a great gift for anybody needing a portable drive, especially laptop and console gamers. If you're looking for something super reliable, specifically for PlayStation, the SN850 is the way to go. Just pop this puppy in and you've got tons more space for games. With insanely high speeds, up to 7,000 megabytes per second and 1 million IOPS. This mountable SSD utilizes an integrated heat sink to reduce throttling and keep your head in the game. The SN850 for PS5 is officially licensed by PlayStation. This would definitely be a really great gift and super useful to anybody with a PS5. I always recommend going with a reliable brand that you can trust, especially with something as important as SSDs. Anything from the WD Black line is super sleek and would be a great gift for any gamer in your life. Or if you want to keep it for yourself, I won't tell. Make sure to check them out using the link in my description. We're going to start off pretty strong here. I'm going to show you my pride and joy, the gallery wall. It's taken me a long time to accumulate all of this art. I will say, however, I picked up a lot of it during TwitchCon. A lot of this art is gaming related or anime related. Some of it's just kind of like random things that I love that my friends made. I also have a couple of shelves up here. We've got the manga, the mongoose, and a couple of amiibo figurines. I decided I'm gonna collect those now. Oh, also this is from that Smoko shop. Oh my God, there it is. Oh. Yeah, this is my Smoko light. It's squishy too, isn't that cute? We are not smokoed out enough for my liking. These lights do auto shut off, which is great because sometimes I forget to do that. Obviously I have a collection of my Switch games here. It's really not a lot. I started to take seriously the fact that we need to be physically collecting games. Physically collect your games, people. I also just really am into the physical cases in general. Of course I got my Froggy Crossing plush. If Froggy Crossing has a hundred fans, I am one of them. If Froggy Crossing has one fan, it is me. If Froggy Crossing has no fans, I am dead. Of course, we got to represent list the last two. She's pretty cool. I don't know. I'll try to put as much info as I can possibly get together of all of these prints so that you guys can also support these amazing artists. There's a lot of different artists here and I really, really hope that I can remember them all. I think I follow all of them on Instagram. And of course, we have my amazing list the last sign. Shout out Ashley and all of my other amazing mod team for getting this for me. We are branding, guys. Branding. I do my makeup in here because it's just easier. Like I share a bathroom with my boyfriend and it, we just have like a lot of shit. So I do my makeup up here. Also the lighting is really great in this room because I got this big window. It's a sliding door, but you know what I mean? Like it, it's just like really great. I like to do my makeup in natural lighting too. So I know if I look insane because sometimes I do put on a little too much concealer, but you don't see that until you're like seeing yourself in natural lighting, okay? This corner is kind of dark and abysmal. This is my plant stand. I recently just got my plants back up in here. This is a ZZ plant right here. That is just a pothos and then pothos snake plant. They were not doing so hot for a long time. After I moved, I kind of forgot about them completely. Like for about a month after I moved, they were shoved into a corner and I just, I, I reminded myself every day that I needed to water them, but I never did. So they are being nursed back to health right now. Um, that's why they are kind of dying. Also, this corner is really dark. I think I'm 
going to have to like readjust all this and move it to another section. I just am worried about them, okay? I'm really concerned. I'm not very good at taking care of plants. I am a killer. This is me coming out, coming forward as a plant murderer. I'm really surprised that these guys have actually lasted so long. <laughs> like, let's be honest, I don't think we ever thought we were gonna get this far. Let's talk tech, girlies. The first thing that I would like to acknowledge is this bad boy right here, not the headphones. No, this sick ass Origin PC. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but they did send me this PC and oh my God, is it freaking awesome. Origin is also so cute and look, they put a little list the last decal on it. This is designed by the person who does a lot of my channel art, Remo, who is lay epic amazing artist. Isn't that so cute? I love a little customization moment. This thing runs like a champ. I was already in the market to buy either a pre-built like this one or build a whole other PC. Cause here's the T shister, shister snapped. The Sims was not running very good and it was breaking my heart. I knew that an upgrade was imminent. So when Origin was like, hey babes, we're gonna send you this. It saved my life. This is pretty much exactly what I was looking for in terms of an upgrade, and I'm just really glad I didn't have to build it myself. The Origin pre-builds are pretty nice, honestly. One thing I don't recommend is Windows 11. They come with Windows 11 already on it. I would say, eh, go get Windows 10. That's actually my weekend plan, is to go back to Windows 10, because nothing works with Windows 11. Does anybody else have this issue? I hate it. But that's not an Origin problem, that's a Windows problem. But we love you, Origin. Jen, thank you so much for sending this to me. You are amazing. And you made my life so much better. Editing, oh my God, editing is so much smoother now and faster. Again, not sponsored by Origin. I just wanted to, you know, give him a shout out as like a thank you because it's not every day that somebody just sends you a computer and I am so grateful. So in case you're curious about what it takes to make Animal Crossing videos online, I've got all the stuff for you here. So this is my Nintendo Switch OLED. This is my actual Nintendo Switch. And so I have it all docked up and connected to my capture card down here. This capture card was giving me issues for a minute and then I, it turns out it was just the cable and so I just needed to replace the cable and everything was fixed. So I've had this capture card the entire time I've been making videos. I would just say if you're having problems, check the cable, the power cable that is. So then that goes into the switch, goes into my computer as well. And then from there I can record with the switch. Bada bing, bada boom. It's like magic. This is my boyfriend's switch. I don't know why it's in here. I haven't used it in a long time. <laughs> Maybe I just thought it would be cool to have two switches on my desk. That's some luxury shit right there, babes. I just got this controller from GameStop. It's the little third party Kirby. I love this so much. I like the wired controller because it just, I don't know, I like a wire. The wireless, I don't know why, I, wireless controllers bug me. It just requires so much extra work. Like all I have to do is boom, plug this in and it works. With a wireless controller, you gotta do the pairing and everything. I hate it, I hate it so much. That's also why I'm a wired headphone girl. I don't have to do any anything extra. As far as peripherals, well, actually don't look too close at my keyboard. This, that's the nastiest part of my setup right there. I know it looks beautiful and white right now. It is disgusting. There is a new virus that is accumulating in there. It's the one thing that I allow to be gross because I actually, I eat at my desk. I'm eating while I'm editing. It's a mess. It gets so nasty in there. I need to clean it. Just please don't, okay? I like my mouse though. I got my mouse new. It looks pretty cool too. Logitech, babes. We are locked. Logitech girlies. Don't look, seriously. I am so obsessed with how this microphone sounds. It's the Shure SM7B, a little crusty, sorry. Plus ignore that, but I love this microphone. It sounds so amazing. Of course, like, any microphone is gonna sound great if you have audio filters on it, but like this one, it's just so effortless. I'm sure you have seen people use it like in podcasts. I know streamers use it. It's the Ludwig microphone, babe. We're professional streamers over here. And um, guess what? Froggy Crossing made this. Is she not the freaking cutest? I just love it. And you also, if you're gonna get a Shure SM7B, you need to know you need to get one of these. This is the cloud lifter. It makes it so that you can actually hear out of the microphone. 
cloud lifter is very important. Basically, it just like increases the gain of this bad boy. Otherwise, it's super quiet. And then all of that goes into the Focusrite audio interface. That's what it's called. Audio interface. We are smart and we know things here. Last but not least, for my streaming setup, I have my camera and my light. Okay, so my camera, this is totally overkill. I'm telling you. I used to do photography and I was getting into wedding photography right before the pandemic hit. Literally right before the pandemic hit, I bought this camera because I was like, all right guys, I'm going full time. This is me investing in my business. And then of course, every wedding was canceled um, when COVID happened. And so I was just stuck with this camera. What a flop. Okay, anyways, um, so this is the Canon EOS R. I decided since I am no longer a photographer, I'm just going to use it for my streaming setup. And it looks beautiful, of course. And then I have a 35 millimeter lens on it, a fixie. So my lighting situation might be a little weird if you don't watch Pokimane. I watched this Pokimane video years ago and she was like, I turn my ring light backwards and I face it towards the wall because then the light will bounce off of the wall and it just makes it so much softer on your face. So ever since I saw that, I was like, that's exactly what I'm doing. And it works super well. Like when I have the ring light directly blasting onto my face, it looks super wacky, but having it bounce up against the wall, it looks really nice. So shout out Pokimane for the epic streaming tips. <laughs> Hey, but I just have a bunch of stuff in this corner. Um, Cricut, cause I thought that I was gonna get into that. Yeah, okay. And then I have my printer here and then my label printer for when I sell merch, which is something that I haven't done like in a long time. <laughs> I don't know, maybe someday soon. Now that I'm like moved and stuff, I can maybe focus on doing cool things like selling hats and stickers and stuff. See, look, I got all the things. But I just hung up all this art today. I don't know who the artist is here, but Tiger sent this to me. I got this at TwitchCon. There was a couple other art prints that I got from the same artist. God, they're so freaking cool. I love that cowboy Beep up. And then this I got when I bought Skyward Sword. GameStop had like an actually good reward for pre-ordering. <laughs> Thank you, GameStop. So I guess we'll move on into my closet. This is just where I shove things. Someday I would love to redo it and have it have cool shelving and stuff like built-ins. Oh, also I did all these baseboards myself in here. We actually, we did a lot to this room. So like the baseboards in here were kind of jacked up and I was like, I want nice baseboards guys. So I redid all these baseboards myself. Thank you very much. They look so good. And then the walls, we did like a skim coat on them. So they're smooth. Cause I thought I was going to do wallpaper that didn't work out, sorry. I have other things to do, but I did paint them too. And so now it looks beautiful and gorgeous. Oh, ignore the hole, please. Of course, we had the landlord special on all of our vents. And so I took all the vents off in the house and I put them in a pile. Cause I'm like, hey, I'm going to strip these and make them look really nice because they have a million coats of paint on them. And now that has been a project that's been sitting there for two months. Hey, maybe someday, but for now, there's my hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. I also wanted to give a really big shout out. I was sent these amazing art pieces that totally remind me of like Peter Rabbit, but guess what? They are Animal Crossing. I am so freaking obsessed with them. It also came with this amazing planner. And guess what? You're gonna lose your mind. It's an Animal Crossing planner. Shout out to the creators of this. It has so much useful info for planning your Animal Crossing Island. All of these lists, there's like a way to plan out your map. It has all of the villagers and everything on it. I've been filling it out so that I can keep track of my collections inside the museum, as well as like everything recipe. There's also like materials. This thing is so freaking useful. I am obsessed with it. So definitely check out the creators of this planner. Thank you so much you guys for sending this to me. It's so cool. I also love this art style. It reminds me of my grandma. It's so freaking cute. So this is like essentially what you see behind me when I'm streaming making videos is this. We've got my door and then my plushies. I just got this little stool for them to sit on. They were in a box and I was like, I want to display my beautiful plushies. So God bless this stool for giving them a home. Tom Nook is from Target. And then all of these plushies, these Animal Crossing ones, the little chicken and the cow were from my amazing mod team and Twitch subs who are too nice to me and I don't understand why. 
You guys rock. My last plush is my Jigglypuff. I won him at the state fair. When I saw this Jigglypuff, I knew, I knew what I had to do. It was the little water gun game that you have to shoot it directly in the hole. And I'm like insanely good at that. Guys, should I play like Valorant or something? <laughs> Ew, I just snot, I'm sorry. But I got the Jigglypuff. I really hope it's Jigglypuff because <laughs> there's like six pink Pokemon that I like confuse all the time, okay? I played Pokemon my whole life and I don't know their names. So please forgive me if this is not a JP. I recently closed down my merch shop, but I still have a bunch of art prints. I also have a bunch of pins, the tiny cat pins. And I still have a couple of my Real Gamers Play Farming Sims shirts. I'm really proud of all the stuff that we've made in collaboration with other artists. I say other artists like I'm an artist. No, I am not. And I would love to make more, but I just haven't had any ideas. I don't know. So for now, everything's gonna stay in the closet. I'm gonna keep the shop closed for a while until I can come out with something new. I gotta get the idea juices flowing. I've had nothing. There's nothing going on in here. So now that you've seen everything that my office has to offer, all of my little nooks and crannies. I've managed to also not show you my terrible cable management. Jesus Christ. But this is this wall. I was thinking about hanging a plant up here just to like fill in the space. And then obviously I have like my main event, my gallery wall that I guess looks really empty right there. I hung a couple things here just to kind of be a space filler for now. I'm assuming I'll get more like art prints later in my life. But like, what would you guys do here? I've been thinking because this room is a little bit echoey and I really don't have any other real estate for rugs because I like hate rugs under the desk thing. Like the rug and the rollies, it doesn't work out, okay? I was thinking about doing some noise canceling pads here, but they are all so but ugly. Literally like I cannot find any cute ones online. So I don't know. I don't know what to put there. If you have any ideas, of course I want to hear. I am open to anything because right now it's just a big empty space. I just have my little bulletin board there and then what? Nothing. Just Pokimane light. Also, this is the best investment of my whole life is this poof. I put my feet on it as I'm sitting in the chair. Let me show you. Oh my god. I don't know why. I just always, I want something to do with these things. It's so freaking nice to have this poof and then I can just do whatever. I don't know if this is like good for you or not, but it personally, it makes my quality of life skyrocket. So that is pretty much my office. <sighs> Shoot! So let me know what you think about my office. I've been working really hard on it. I wanted it to be this beautiful zen space that I feel productive in. And I'm feeling so blessed and lucky to have my own space. Like, I love my boyfriend so much. Love you, babe. Thank you so much for everything that you do, but I need my own space. This is my space my area. If you have any questions or any suggestions for this bare wall, I mean, hey, let me know. I am here. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so. If you liked this video, you might enjoy my world's vlog, which is the second half of my video where I talk about mental illness. So feel free to check that out and I will see you in the next one.